Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! As you guys can see, season 13 is ending soon, and you guys know season 14 is most likely around the corner, guys. Right now, we don't even have a timer up here. Usually we do, but today is Friday, guys, and we could be possibly seeing a brand new update tomorrow. And today, I'm going to tell you how you can prepare for this. But before we get started, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't, and don't forget to click that post notification bell. Now, let's get started with this video. All right, guys, today I'm driving the Yesco lookalike, or the A. AMR Pro right over here. Honestly, I feel like this car looks way better than the RB17, guys. And I think it's because of the wing. But let's talk about the next update, guys. You know that Season 13 is finally over. You guys can literally see it says Season Ending Soon. So it can literally end in just a couple of hours here. But what does this mean? Well, you guys know that we have this brand new leak that we got a couple of days ago of a Japanese map. Now, we looked at closer at this map, guys. And it's not just any other map. It's actually a race. So once you guys see the new update i don't know how much the map is gonna change i really doubt it might change at all but they might even have a, a little area that they add like they do for the halloween or any other update like especially this drift update right here that's been celebrated for the longest time but you guys know that that picture right there is most likely just a race with a uh, cherry blossom that's gonna pop up when you start it i don't think it's gonna be here permanently and you guys know that the next season is going to be coming with the elite pass too so if you guys have already earned this elite pass you guys it will be the available for the next update also i don't know if the season 13 race is going to disappear i probably think it will most likely they might keep it for a couple of days but i think it's going to be completely taken out and i think this is where the next race uh start is going to be i think this is the permanent spot for it you guys we talked about what possible vehicles are going to be coming out for this update on yesterday's video so if you guys haven't checked that out go check it out right now season 14 race guys i thought it was gonna be an f1 style just because it has a lot of barriers to it but i think it's gonna be a mix of that and the mountain race and the reason why i say that guys is because you know that the japanese race around the mountain a lot and they have these loops that we have here in cdt so i feel like we're gonna have to go through there i think it's a little bit of a drift kind of action race but they did say that this update is going to be the most action-packed out of all of them i don't know how they're going to be uh more action-packed than the current one is it's basically just a race a couple of challenges and additional ramps and stuff added to a race but other than another update guys i don't know what else they could put maybe they're gonna add a barn hunt to it maybe you can find parts for a very classic japanese car and then we gotta find the parts and put it together for our ultimate prize now that seems like a lot of work but it seems like cdt is kind of running out of ideas when it comes to season updates now that would be cool i mean if we find like parts for our r33 around the map i think that would be a real really good like japanese style update that they're going with or maybe they'll just have godzilla come in the map and destroy every car as you race through the map i don't know but i hope they'll add some cool hypercars too because there are a lot of brand new japanese hypercars that we haven't heard of yet a lot of people are probably thinking that this is going to be a classic kind of update but we won't know until we find out but one thing is guys that to prepare for this update you guys have to make sure that your task is done right over here i don't think you can use the same exact task for the next update guys it usually resets everything so once you guys complete all of this uh, when you can't redeem it for the next update so don't even try like completing all the challenges and then waiting for the update to come out because you're probably not going to get the trophies I, I believe the, the task does reset 
every single time a brand new update comes. The best and fastest way to get trophies in the game is racing in the season race itself. For some reason, they just give you so much more money than the city race, than the circuit race, and drag race combined. And even if you want to start racing right here right now to stack up on trophies, guys, I, I would just wouldn't. Honestly, just probably save up as much money as you can. Now, I will say start saving, guys, in the game just in case they do release some cars. But honestly, if they are going to come out with a season 14 update, don't even bother because most of them are unlocked by trophies and trophies only. And you guys can see that they have a level system going on now. It's not just you get this for this amount of trophies. You actually have to unlock 30 prizes now instead of 5 like the, we did before. I believe they're going to do the same exact thing. So it's just going to be an absolute grind as soon as this up... Oh, bad crash. As soon as this update comes out, guys, it's just going to be an absolute grind. Like you literally have to just keep playing and just join the races over and over and do all the challenges that pops up after that everything else should be unlocked super easy and probably just spend your money on buying the fastest cars in the game so you can win every race and as for the release of the update guys usually sometimes they've had this habit of not advertising the update anymore maybe they'll do a late advertisement but they did say that they were going to be releasing an update this weekend so and season 14 will literally be here tomorrow guys and it might have a sponsor and what I mean by that guys you see monster jam right here it, the event ends in literally 16 hours so maybe we're gonna have another sponsor with this update guys and last time we had Coldplay and this time we had the monster jam maybe we can have Nickelodeon again but who knows seems like every one of them has been different every single month also guys one more thing licenses could possibly be an addition for this update or more cars taken out <laughs> it could be a possibility that we could have cars being changed taken out and usually sometimes they may even add back the limited shop guys so be on the lookout for that sometimes that might be a plus when it comes for this update so if you guys do know it, the limited shop does come back uh, once every month or so and if it does what car are you gonna be getting leave it in the comments down below but before I go I'm gonna show you guys the area where I believe the race is gonna be held at I think they might take out this endurance race I feel like nobody's really using it anymore and usually they'll take out races when that happens but I feel like this race is gonna consist of uh, the mountain the city and maybe a little bit of the circuit area guys so it's gonna be a whole map race and this time maybe we might even use the tunnels again but this area right here this is gonna be part of the race I bet you guys and everybody's gonna be drifting around this area and everybody's gonna be saying oh T pro guessed it right <laughs> so I believe this area is gonna be part of the race hundred percent if I'm wrong it was a great guess I feel like everybody would have think that this would be a part of a Japanese race and the cherry blossoms would be around here and Tokyo Drift would just be playing in the background but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and also what is your method for this next upcoming update guys i know you got your own methods going on like i said just save up enough money for a pro possible exclusive limited shop coming back or so you guys can upgrade your car to unlock these prizes faster but i want to know your guys' opinion in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one and peace out